I'm Ramona J. Smith, the 2018 World Champion of Public Speaking, and I am here with Brandon Carter, 211.com. Sharon Cohn, and I am here as a volunteer for Citizens for Cuyahoga Community College. I thank you so very much for just a minute or so of your time. Want to make certain that uh, everyone is aware that Cuyahoga Community College, the community's college where futures begin, has a levy on the ballot this November. Try C. Uh, my name is Michael Cope. I work in alumni relations, and part of my responsibility is bring individuals back to Try C to be a part of that, to enhance the, the, the students' experience, to help the college, and also, in essence, help the community. Um, to be a Toastmaster uh, like she is, you have to have a mastery of words and uh, skilled and eloquent in delivery. And I looked up ambassador. An ambassador is a person who acts as a representative. And the major responsibility of an ambassador to, is to represent, of course, and advance the goals of the activity or the agency or organization that they represent. And I will tell you, maybe you don't know that, Ramona also won the 2019, 2000, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> like, hold on, you know, so on. The, uh, the 2019-20 uh, Rising Star Alumni Award, Distinguished Award from Tri-C. Let's get it. I'm in a wheelchair. As you, as you can see, sorry. These 20 years, you can't miss them. They tend to not keep it playing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this chair 13 years now. Take the mother straight bullet. I was 19 years old, walking to my car, and I felt this force, strong, hit me, knocked me on my head. And I laid there. I didn't know what hit me, but I laid there breathless. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't yell. And no one came around to see me for about 10 minutes because I guess nobody wanted to get hit either. In my own neighborhood, I laid there. And when I found that I was paralyzed, I was depressed. I stopped eating. I stopped talking. And my whole world was shook. Interesting past because at that time, I lost my mom. I was accused of shooting three people in 30 projects. My name is Carlos Anderson. You can Google that. You're going to see my face pop up. You're going to see what they try to accuse me of. They, they accuse me of triple shooting even a nine year old girl I shot. I turned myself in immediately when I hit the news. When I turned myself in, they had me on the news before they had a warrant for my arrest. So I called them off guard. Like, y'all about to put this on me. I went down there immediately, turned myself in. They kept me there seven months. Seven months. I had to go to trial. I had to get. I had to get on the stand and explain my day. I had an alibi, piece of her receipts, videos, everything. None of that mattered. They were trying to stick it to me because I'm the most requested motivational speaker to juvenile center. The reason why I'm the most requested is because I live exactly like those children that's in there. You know what I'm saying? So I know how to connect with them. I know how to communicate with them. I get right up on them. I tell them I love them. I hug them. You know what I mean? And that's, that's, what's, that's what's missing now. The love is missing. You know. A lot of these children out there, they're looking for love. That's why they join gangs. That's why they get involved in these gangs and, and whatnot. So when the church come outside and stump the yard and start hugging these little kids that's in front of the store, these young boys, they freeze up. They don't even know what to do. They never felt that before in their life. So when you bring that love from inside of the building to outside of the building, it's going to change the world. It's going to change the world. Hey, how are you today? Hey, um, first of all, let me let y'all know, and some, a lot of y'all know it already, this is a magnificent woman right here. I'm going to tell you something. Just give it up for her. Go ahead and give it up for her. And just a few minutes just to tell you, and I knew something, I'm an ordained minister, and I knew it was just something in my spirit. When 2019 hit, I said, Father God, let me have divine connections. You know, I just don't need to be bumping into people and trying to make friends. I'm all about divine connection. So if I meet you and I talk to you and we really connect, that's all about God. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Because that right there is what's going to take you and get you over the hump. And meeting her, just her inspiration, just her resilience, just her resolve is what motivates me 
just from afar. I don't know about y'all, but I come from the inner city of Detroit, and she talking about the wasteland, I come straight from the dirt, east side of Detroit. My mother was slain when I was one years old. My father acted like he had something better to do, and he didn't want to raise me. I was raised by a southern man from Mississippi with a sixth grade education that was extremely rough on me. I didn't know what it was like to be a man, but here I stand before you today, a father of four, been married for 20 years, 20 plus years retired in the military, and I'm striving to lead somebody like her. 2016, and I was, uh, I was all nervous, and we were supposed to talk and give our experience of try to see and what we've been through and, and the different things. It was called Motivational Monday. And I was so nervous, I really wanted to take a picture of everything. So while everybody was out of the room, I took a picture of our name tags. And that was my first exposure to Mona. And I was inspired by her story. I was supposed to be telling my inspired story, but I was like, dang, God, I thought I had it bad and climbed out. She climbed out of a situation that she was in, and it made me inspired even more to hear from her. It's my pleasure to introduce the 2018 World Champion of Public Speaking, Ramona J. Smith. So give yourself, give her a round of applause, or put your hands together for Ramona J. Smith.
future. I'm glad we ended with Brian on Old Town Road because the children are the future. You see how we poured into Miracle? She'll probably never forget this moment in her life. We all poured into her. No, we don't know her personally. I, I just met her today. But what they say, it takes a village, right? So we all have a responsibility to pour into the youth. It is your responsibility because if you do not and then they, they run in the street and run around, you're going to be mad. But what did you do to encourage that young person? What did you do to help that young person to make better choices? What are you doing for the children to help them make better choices? Okay? So, and a lot of people fear the future. I'm scared to be successful, then what? I'm scared to make a lot of money, then what? I'm scared to get out the hood, then what? You'll never know until you go. I have my dream job and I have uh, you know, all the money that I want. I'm dropping my favorite car. You know, this, this sounds great, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. So who are you giving it back to? Who are you giving it back to? If you're in the best position right now and everything is great and with the things that we're saying is like, oh, I've been there, done that, who are you passing it down to? Who are you mentoring? Who are you telling your story to to encourage and inspire them? But for those of us who are not quite there yet, I'm still not there yet. For those of us who are not quite there yet, what's holding you back? What is it that you want to do in your life that you're not doing? What is it? Because I know everybody in here has a dream. Everybody in here has a purpose or, or a passion or something that you want to pursue. So my question to you is, when? And if you're pursuing that, if you're in pursuit of that, then what's the next level? When can we level up? What's next now? Like if you, I'm going to pick on you for a minute. <laughs> if you're already a hairstylist, right? And you're in the salon and you got your the, the clientele and, and things like that. What's next? What's the next level? I come back to Cleveland often and I see a lot of people are content. You're content with where you are. You're content with your situation. Everything is good. Everything, yeah, I'm doing it. Why can't we level up? Cleveland has so much talent. We should be the trendsetter for New York. We should be the trendsetters for Atlanta. We should be the trendsetters for LA. But what's holding you back? What's holding you back? With the boys with the hoodies, who you don't know, oh my God, here he comes. He's gonna resonate with that and make sure that they're not gonna do nothing crazy to you when they're walking up the street. So that's why I wanted Connie's son to come, because he's a representation of Cleveland, he's a representation of the men in Cleveland, and he is doing everything in his power to end this vicious cycle that our young black men are going through in Cleveland. So let's give it up one more time. Yeah.
have you discovered the champion within you? You know you can do anything. Anything that I can do or anyone else who's awesome can do it, you can do it too. Be great.